Hi hi welcome to Godayo this is day 28 i think 29 29 this is day 29 of 100 days of code and the question for today is called missing number in an array okay so it's quite a simple question i'm quite lazy today to find uh, a decent enough question so we are going with this now and uh, yeah it's quite simple so given an array of size n minus 1 such that it contains only distinct integers in the range 1 to n and you are supposed to find the missing element so you are given an array and it has numbers from 1 to n and they will also give you the value of n right and you are supposed to find the missing element from this array because there will be one element missing okay so in this example the value of n is 5 so the array should contain only numbers from 1 to 5 but there will be one number within this range that would be missing from this array so the size of the array would be 4 right so the size of the array here is 4 and the number missing is 4 because we have 1 2 3 and 5 and there is no 4 present in this array and so i supposed to return 4 as the answer so this is the gist of the question so a brute force approach would be uh, iterating through the whole array uh, trying to find uh, which number is not present but uh, there is another way that you could use which is uh, a simple mathematical logic right so there is this formula called n into n plus 1 by 2 okay n into n plus 1 by 2 and this n plus 1 should be within brackets okay so n into n plus 1 by 2 what exactly does this uh, formula do okay so uh, let us say we plug in the value 5 here so it will be 5 times 6 by 2 What is five times six? Thirty. Thirty by two gives you fifteen, right? And if you try to add all the natural numbers from one to five, one, two, three, four, and five, right? You would get this number as the sum. We'll see. Uh, does it satisfy? Right. So one plus two gives you three. Three plus three gives you nine. Sorry, six. Six plus four gives you ten. Ten plus five gives you fifteen, right? So when you add all natural numbers from one to five, it gives you fifteen, and you can find the same using this formula, which is n into n plus one divided by two. This applies only for natural numbers. Okay, so we are going to use this, and we are also going to find the sum of these uh, numbers. Okay, so. Um, we are going to find the sum of the numbers that are actually present in this array this array has 1 2 3 3 and 5 right and we know that the sum should be 15 okay sorry uh, here we have 5 okay so we know the sum should be 15 and when you add all these numbers what you get is 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 5 11 right and you know the number should be exactly 15 so you can just do a difference of these numbers which is 5 minus 11 which gives you 4 and that is the answer right so you can return this so this is the approach okay now the array might not be sorted right so you cannot say that you can just go through this array using a single for loop and see if the numbers are consecutive and uh, they are present in this array that is not possible because the array will be an unsorted array in this particular case the array is sorted but uh, generally you cannot assume that the array is uh, a sorted array it's an unsorted array so this is the approach that you are going to use right you are going to add all the numbers that are present in this array and you are going to uh, find the actual sum that you should be having if the missing number is actually present and that you are going to find with the help of the formula n into n plus 1 by 2 and by using the value of n that is provided in the question and uh, After finding these two numbers, you can just return the difference of these numbers, and that would be the answer. Okay. Now uh, we'll move on to Geeks for Geeks and try to program this and see if it works. So we are in Geeks for Geeks now, and uh, the coding to this question is very simple, uh, and uh, it's exactly going to be what we discussed, right? So uh, we are supposed to complete this uh, method called missing number, and we are uh, given an array, which actually is a vector here, and the name is n, right? So now we are going to create a couple of variables okay one is going to be sum okay and i'm going to initialize it with zero okay this is the variable that you're going to find the actual sum of all the numbers that are present in the array okay the other one i'm just going to name it r which is going to be the required sum 
uh, if all elements are present okay so how exactly are we going to calculate that that is going to be n times sorry n times n plus 1 divided by 2 right so this is going to be the formula for that and that va value would be calculated here now you are going to iterate through the array or the vector in this case i equals 0 and i less than n minus 1 this you should be very careful about it should be n minus 1 right because the given value is the value of n it is not the size of the array itself okay it is the value of n uh, which includes the missing number as well so you are going to traverse through this array up until n minus 1 and not until n okay so for i equals 0 i less than n minus 1 i plus plus you are going to add all these numbers to sum so sum plus equals array of i right so we have calculated that and at the end of this you can just say return r minus sum obviously r would be the greater value because it includes the sum of the i mean it includes the missing element also in its uh, sum right so r obviously would be the greater element so r minus sum would be the answer that we require and the code is quite simple you are just traversing through the array you are just adding all the numbers present in it and you are finding the supposed sum which uh, would be calculated with the formula n in 10 plus 1 by 2 also including the missing number and you are just going to return the difference of them now we will try to run this and uh, see if it works so the code is working perfectly fine and all test cases have passed i don't know why they have 307 test cases for this question this is not such a complicated question okay anyways thank you so much for watching see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code and if you have any questions put them in the comments as well i will get back to you um, see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code bye for now